All right, to solve a rational equation, again, a rational is, means a fraction, a rational number is a fraction. This is just an equation with fractions, and it's got x's in it. All right, so to do this, we gotta figure out what is the least common denominator. You gotta look at all the denominators and find the least common denominator. Well, there's only one number, that number is three. For the variable part, x to the one and x to the one, they have the same exponent, so we just write, write it down. So our least common denominator is 3x. What do we do with this? Well, remember with an equation, you can do anything to both sides, and it's still going to be true. If 5 equals 5, well, if I multiply both sides by 3, we get 3 times 5 equals 3 times 5. It's still a true statement, 15 equals 15, yeah? So, let's multiply both sides of this equation by 3x. Now, multiply, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the every step here. So, we multiply both sides of this equation by 3x. Notice when I distribute, when we multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 3x, it's the same thing as just multiplying every term by 3x. So what do we get? 3x times 6 over x minus 3x times 1 third equals, let me just write this as 3x times 5 over x. So notice, when we multiply both sides by some expression, it's the same thing as multiplying each term by that expression. And that's what I'm going to do in the following videos. Now we simplify each expression. Things are going to cancel. x over x cancels. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 over 3 cancels. We're left with minus x times 1, which is minus x. And on the other side, the x's cancel, and 3 times 5 is 15. Now we just solve this equation. Um, I'm going to subtract 18. Yeah, you could add x, but I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. Those cancel. We get negative x equals negative 3. Now we're not done. We want to know what x is, not negative x. So multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. Those cancel. A negative over a negative is a positive. Now with rational equations, with these types of equations, when you get your answer, you need to plug it in and make sure you don't get division by zero. Because if you do, then it turns out that that's not an actual solution. When I plug in 3, 6 over 3 and 5 over 3, we do not get a number over zero. So this is the solution. You can double check by plugging in 3 and then adding both sides and showing they're equal.